This could be good for me Lately I was feeling like I need a purpose But when you talk to me Thanks for joining me today with my thrift flip haul. I paid $3.99 for the four compartmentalized and $2.99 for the leaf shaped one. I've chosen Dixie Belle Silk because it doesn't require primer or a top coat, which means getting through this will be quite fast and easy. Sunkissed is a great sort of buttery off-white and I'm gonna do two coats on both pieces. I've talked a lot recently about our time at market, so I thought I'd show you our booth at Vintage Market Days, both when we set up and then at the very very end I'll show you what it looks like after. You'll get to see how we actually stage with the pieces you see us make. Often these events are quite nerve-wracking once we've set up because we look around and realize that there's nobody that looks like us at all. We've got a ton of color in a sea of black and white and brown. So far different has been great for us. Right so let's get back to this project. So now I'm going to use some decoupage paper that I had left over from some of those noodle boards both of the smaller sheets this littler bee pattern and then the big bee those are from grace on design and what i'm doing here is using some top coat by dixie bell and i am just working that top coat you want to be sure that you get it fully covered both underneath and on top and do everything you can to work out all of the bubbles i want to show you another way you can use decoupage paper which is to apply the top coat to the back of the paper and then kind of smush it into the bowl working out all of the wrinkles and then adding a top coat because the curved surface this actually ended up being the easier way to do this and how I did the rest of the little sections of this container when you're done this is gonna look like a hot mess it's okay just let it dry that way with those papers hanging up and we're gonna go ahead and move on to do the smaller one while that dries same process um, apply it to the back and just kind of lay it on the front and then more top coat over top of that and then let it dry you these papers are quite thick so you can move them around once you've placed them uh, if you don't like the placement, but try to work out as many wrinkles as you can. Once everything is dry or very close to dry, you can start removing the papers on smaller projects. You're gonna be able to rip them pretty easily on bigger ones like this. There was so much I needed to pull out the scissors. It was not all the way dry. And so in a couple little areas, I did pull more than I wanted to and I'll show you how to fix that. While I was removing the paper, I added a little bit of top coat to anything that looked loose. And now I'm going with some 220 grit sandpaper and I'm sanding off and any paper left at the edges which is also a great time to distress if you don't like the distressed look you could always go back and touch up the paint and that would be no problem I like to add extra security so after I'm done I add another layer of top coat now I'm going to do the same thing on the larger one and with the sandpaper I did notice that there were a couple of areas that because I started when they were a little too damp that I pulled off too much so I'm just gonna sort of piecemeal with my top coat and little torn pieces put them back together let it dry all the way and then give it a good sand. These are now perfect for jewelry or catching your keys, what have you, by the front door, by your sink. I would love to hear what you think about these projects. Leave me a comment in the comment section below. And of course, all products will be available on our website. Moving on to our next project, I paid $4.99 for this writing desk, less actually 40% because it was blue tag day at the Goodwill. And so I am just taking off the sticker, giving it a light scuff sand, which probably wasn't necessary, but I needed to get that adhesive off. And now I am painting all of it, including the inside and once again I am using the Dixie Bell so I really want this piece to be special so we're gonna add some layers to it here I'm actually gonna use some bungalow 47 this is a soft green and it's sort of a soft minty green and you can see it's very light and luscious against that sort of buttery yellow to give a little more dimension I'm gonna come back with a darker blue this is actually harbor with silk and I am going to just sort of hit the edges I don't want to cover the whole thing I just want the light color to fit into the dark color to provide some real luxury. Can you see how yummy that blend is between these two colors? 
This is our second craft fair of the season. Anna and her husband Rob did a great job setting up all the fixtures for the booth and then of course Anna and Heather merchandised the booth the two days prior to the show. Um, you'll see how we use all of the transfers, molds, and stamps, and everything that we show you in our videos actually and sell them in our booth. Our customers seem to enjoy our style every bit as much as we do. Getting back to that writing desk, I'm ready to start adding some transfers. So I'm just kind of measuring them out. I want to use this large grouping of flowers and some words, and I'm just sort of mock laying them out before I actually peel off the backing and lay it down. If you haven't used transfers before, they are really so simple to use. You simply peel the back off, lay them down. They come with a stick that you just start rubbing. And then um, when all of the ink has come off the sticker, then you can just peel it right off. And then you want to give it a light rub afterwards just to ensure that everything is down. This goes pretty fast. And if you miss something, you just simply just lay it down again, give it another rub and it will stick and then just pull the paper back up and voila, there it is. It is a perfect little bit of words or flowers or what have you. I'm going to be adding a little extra touch here and I found this little tiny bumblebee in the one of the mini decor sheets and he is so cute. I wish I had an entire sheet but he is the perfect touch for this box. And now I'm going to add some little sneak peeks. I like it when you get one of my boxes that when you open it there is a little surprise inside. So here I'm going to add a flower and a butterfly and I have decoupaged the bottom of the inside of the tray as you can see and we'll get a better look at it right now as we do the final reveal on this small desk. Again, tell me what you think. Leave me in the comments below. And uh, have you ever tried something like this? Would you ever try something like this? How do you like the layering? What is your favorite part of this piece or any of the pieces I've showed so far? And now we are ready for our last two thrift flips. We're going to be using Dixie Belle Silk in Harbor. I paid $2.99 for this little metal tin and uh, I'm just going to give it two quick coats. Yes, I'm going to paint right over the hardware. Next, I've got this little keepsake box, also $2.99. I am giving it a light scuff sand first since it did have high gloss. Of course, one of the best secrets to having a really good weekend event or having great sales in a booth is to have lots of stuff. You should be stacked and packed. It should be layer upon layer upon layer and good color story and theme as you run through. And hopefully you can see that we have a variety of colors and textures. Transfer scraps are often some of the best ways to get the most value out of the tubes when you purchase them. So in this case, I'm going to be using a large flower section that I probably wouldn't be using anywhere. I don't actually use furniture transfers on furniture that often. I use them mostly on smalls. So here I am cutting it up and measuring it out. Then I just need to give it a quick rub to make sure all the bubbles. For this smaller box, I'll be using some of the brand new decor transfers. I love the small scale because I adore working on these little tiny boxes. They sell really well for us and I have a lot of fun doing them, which is, you know, the best part. I am just kind of rolling this piece around waiting to see where I want it to go. And then easy peasy, lemon squeezy as it goes on. From here, I just continue to add layer upon layer upon layer, deciding do I like it? Do I not like it? And once I feel comfortable adding the little individual pieces, I do try to catch all of the sides and again, something on the inside when possible because I like that special surprise. When complete, I'm going to put a nice clear coat of wax over the top and these are all done and ready for sale. I hope you've enjoyed these projects. Be sure to like and subscribe if you did and share it with a friend. We're trying to grow our channel and be sure to stay to the very, very end where we're going to show you the after of our craft booth. Feeling like I need a purpose But when you talk to me Give me the impression that I won't scratch your surface And I could walk for days Searching for your praise